G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Uh, I'm going to do the fairy flower today, but I'm going to have a try with the Octopus Write and Draw inks. Uh, they've sent me some samples, so we'll see how they go. Um, I've got Red Koala, Yellow Zebra and Blue Sloth. Now, as you can see, there's no um, dropper on these. Um, so I've used my little um, pipettes to draw oh to draw up um, and I've cleaned them out with a little bit of alcohol as best I can but I'll reuse them I'll keep them um, and use them for the same color so I'll just put them to the side there so still transparent as you can see that's the yellow that's the red and then the blue so still transparent um, so um, where's my little cup we'll start making our little dirty paw so some yellow I haven't made these as dark as I would when I use my whole bind I found that I had to use a lot more of the of this write and draw ink to get a dark enough color so yeah I don't know I guess different brands you know have got a different um, amount of ink in them but um, yeah, we'll just see. I, I think they're quite, I think they're dark enough. So I'm just layering my colours here. Uh, I have got more resin in my little cups as well, as what I would traditionally do. And I just want to see what happens if I've got more resin in these little cups. Not a lot more, but just a little bit more. Probably only an extra 10 grams, I guess, in each cup, just to see, just to see what happens. So we'll do three layers. Now with the primary colours, if you mix your primary colours together, it makes brown. <laughs> so be careful when you're, you know, giving this little dirty pour cup a swirl because you don't want to mix it too much, just one, because, you know, you're going to get... You'll get brown, baby poo brown. <laughs> All right, now I just want to see. I'm just going to pour this into the center and see what we get, just like that. Hopefully, we get something pretty. Oops, look at that. It's pretty in there, isn't it? It's really rainbowish in there. We'll just pour the rest into the middle. Now, I am using my of yellow on the side there. I'm using my large rock edge silicone mold. I will link it for you down below um, in the description. And as usual, I will link resincourses.com as well so that you can do the course if you want to. I've just got my clear sitting in two separate cups there so that it doesn't overheat. I'm using the Platinum Super Clear Resin and I had let it sit for 10 minutes. Um, and then I decanted it and then I started my video. So it's probably been sitting in the cups for um, 15, 20 minutes, I guess. It's taken me to get, you know, all my colours in. What time did I start? I started at seven, nine seventeen, and now it's almost 20 to 10. So it's taken me that long to get to this particular point. <laughs> All right, that's that done. Not looking as dark as it normally does when I use my whole bind. I probably just use too much. Um, now in here I've got my um, Bloom pigment paste. So that's in there. It's just opaque, I guess. So I'm going to do my little dots. And then... Um, I'm going to pull these two together, my clear, and I'll tell you about what I'm going to do with that in a minute. Because it was starting to feel a bit hot, these two, so that's why I thought I'll divide them into two cups. I don't know what's going on outside. Let me shut the door. Gosh, a bit noisy. Got the door open to let some fresh air in, but it's a little bit noisy. Not sure what's going on out there today. All right, let's cut the top off that. And we are going to do some 
drops. Actually, I might make it a bit bigger. Let's make it a little bit bigger, eh? Okay. Oh, <laughs> not all come out at once. All right, here we go. Dots. When the little bag's quite full, sometimes the dots come out in a little bit of a higgledy piggledy way and have a little train behind them. But once you start getting into your rhythm, and it should be okay. So I just want to try with slightly bigger dots this time. Uh, the Platinum Super Clear is a little bit thicker resin to the Ultra Clear. I think it's more like a very similar consistency to the um, Art Pro resin by Resin Pro. Uh, I will also link Resin Pro's uh, website and coupon code down for you in the description. But today, just using the Platinum Super Clear. I'd like to see you know different resins what what they can do how they can work because not everybody can get certain resins so it's nice to have an option especially if you're in Australia some of the other resins that people use overseas are a little bit difficult for us to get in Oz down under I'm just squeezing my little bag as I drop down like that squeeze down drop uh, squeeze <laughs> So, and around we go, just dotting in a little spiral there. So normally, and I'll, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Normally, um, I would, oops, there we go, going right into the center. Normally, I put some white into my clear, my clear push at the end. I'm, I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to add um, a little bit of this. See if I can do two things at once and talk to you and dot at the same time. Uh, it is uh, alcohol ink, violet blue green by Marabou. So yeah, it's just a it's just an alcohol ink with a little bit of glitter in it. So I thought that would be nice and just see what happens if I don't add white. If I just add a little bit of just a little bit of glitter, really. Um, I've been doing my new design, my fantasy flower, which is based on the resin courses uh, course, of course. But um, I've just been pouring it like in a puddle pour and then doing spirals. So not doing dots at all, just doing a spiral. Um, you know, just putting a, a new spin on, on things. So try and do my own thing. And uh, I haven't been, that one hasn't, it's just basically a clear dump with a tiny little bit of um, colour in it. But no white, no white paste in it. I'm just going to go in here and see if I add a little bit more. Just where I can see a little empty spot. So I thought, yeah, I wonder if I, I'll try that with the fairy flower and not put um, white in the end, in the, in the push at the end and just see what happens. Yeah, keen to see. I do like to experiment. You use all of this. Whoa, that was a big blob. It wasn't much in my little cup anyway for the white. But um, yeah, I'll just use it all up anyway. <laughs> there we go. That's it. It's all gone. It's all gone. <laughs> Clean off my fingers there. Alrighty, so now that that's done, let's torch that real quick. So I'm going to pour these two together. I can feel that these are getting warm because, you know, they're sitting sitting quite deep in a cup. Um, oh, I've also got my mould raised up on a little metal trivet um, because I'm pouring it quite deep and uh, the Platinum Super Clear... Uh, doesn't really like to be poured too deep so I've got a little trivet sitting under here so you get airflow underneath the mold so it doesn't overheat but I can feel this is warming up so we'll get a wriggle on um, and look I'm not going to count drops I'm just gonna just gonna give it a squirt make sure that you shake it up really well because your glitter is going to be on the bottom and then the rest is still alcohol as far as I know so make sure you squirt you um, stir it really well let's just we'll just do that Give it a squirt. How's that sound? Oh, oh my gosh, I nearly dropped that in the mould. Okay. So I don't think it's going to really bring a lot to the party, but hopefully a little bit of little bit of glitter. And I want to see what happens if you don't use white at the end, okay? 
All right, so here we go. We find the middle and we're just going to jump that in like so. Ooh, look. Oh, I've never had that before. I've got a tiny bit left. I haven't used it all. So I mixed up for this particular pour. I did, I wrote it down, uh, 150 grams of part A, 65 grams of part B, and that gives 215 grams. And, you know, you can never get it all out. There's always some stuck in your little cups. So, yeah. Yeah. And the other reason I wanted to just do a clear push is because I want to see what's going on in the middle. All right, because normally when you're doing the fairy flower, you've got your white, a little bit of white, even though it's really transparent in, in your cup at the end, it's white. And I have trouble seeing what's going on in the middle. So I'm going to keep an eye on this um, and I'm going to come back in about 15 minutes or so. Um, and if it's still got a big empty blob in the middle, I'm going to get my syringe and I'm going to suck some out until that's closed up, all right? Um, but you could, if you wanted to, wait and see how it closes up and then put your glitter in or your stones or whatever. Um, but yeah, as I said, I want to see because I want to see what happens. That's why I've done the clear, okay? Does that make sense? That's why I've done the clear center. So I'll leave it at that. Give it a little torch around like that just to get it to start moving resin wants to come a bit of smoke <laughs> oh, don't overheat your resin it wants to come into the middle so it's not doing much at the moment there's a big empty blob like that that size but we'll give it some time um, and then we'll come back and see what's what it's doing okay all right see you soon okay so it's only been about mm, I think seven minutes or so and the base hasn't really closed in so I'm going to do my little sucking trick. I'm going to get my syringe. I'm going to put it down as low as I can to the bottom. And I'm going to pull. Oh, gosh, I need a new syringe. I need a new syringe. I've used this one quite a few times. And it's just not as sucky as it used to be, <laughs> you know. All right. I'm gonna, it's just all clear, isn't it? I'm going to pour it into there. And I'm going to go again. I don't know if this is going to make it close up. I really need to go and get a better syringe. There we go. It is moving. It is moving. Make sure you don't drip. So I can feel that the resin is starting to get a bit thick now. I will use this resin. I'll um I'll put some colour in it and I'll make some um puffy hearts or something out of it. All right, here we go again. So I guess you can only really do this if you've got a lot of extra resin in your mould. Look at that. Starting to get a bit of colour now. You can see the size of that hole in the bottom is much smaller now. My resin is thicker and I know I wanted it to be thicker because I wanted to, um, you know, I waited the 10 minutes for it to thicken because I wanted the um, petals to be nice and big and fluffy rather than drop straight down, hit the bottom and go splat. So that's why I um, I waited. Now you can see that the size of the hole in the center there is about half what it was. I'm going to go one more time until, until I'm getting some, look at that, <laughs> that looks so cool until I've got some um, colour in there. And then I know that all this, the, um, the clear is gone. So there we go. That was, um, I don't know, what was that? Did I do it three times? Probably about 30 mils an ounce, I guess. Did I do it three times? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it's closed, it's closed. So let's hope that, it's, let's hope that works, hey? I don't know. And I'm not gonna swirl it, I'm not gonna do anything with it, I'm just gonna leave it. Hopefully the suction um, will keep making the resin sort of move a little bit. Um, yeah, and we'll see. We'll see what happens. Now this one is just alcohol isopropyl. And what I do is I go up, down. I'm not going to do it here because my syringe is, like I said, it's 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 getting stuck. It's not as slippery <laughs> as it used to be. So but anyway, I just go up, down, up, down. I might just throw that one out anyway to clean it out. Um, and you can get quite a few uses out of it until it starts to really stick. So 
and you don't want it splashing anywhere near that so I'm going to take it over here um, I'm going to cover it and uh, that will be it uh, so yeah hopefully hopefully that has helped and because I poured the clear in there at the end I could actually literally see what the center was doing so cross your fingers that it'll be all right so we'll cover this up um, and I'll just leave it there and then I'll come back to you when it's cured and hopefully this will work okay hopefully see you soon righto it has cured I've just taken it out of my curing machine move that away it did its job now look it has closed in the middle it's quite feathery under there the only issue I have or concern rather is when I sucked all that resin out of the center has it elongated those petals and distorted them or have they stayed fluffy when I after I did it I thought oh, I should have sucked it out straight away um, before the resin started to thicken so that the petals could still maybe form the shape that they needed to but anyway <laughs> it's done now so we shall we shall see what it's done I guess hopefully hopefully it's worked because I know it's closed over oh look I can actually see through um yeah so mold has done its job beautifully a tiny little bit of transparency through there through the center so oh gosh you guys I'm really really anxious about this one because it's it's different it's totally different to what I've done before just so yeah <gasps> oh, wish me luck all right here we go count with me all right one two three oh no way oh my gosh shut the front door I've seen other people get big chunky gorgeous colorful petals before and I've never been able to do it like my petals here's one here's one see my petals have always been small which I mean they're really pretty but they've always been small and look I've got big chunky ones oh my gosh now I think it's basically basically because I've let the resin thicken before I started but look you guys what do you think of the colors so pretty look I I personally me I personally don't think um, the end product has anything to do it's a bit bendy I don't think it has anything to do with the brand of your ink your Liquitex um, acrylic inks your Holbein acrylic inks your octopus acrylic inks I I don't know I think it's more about the type of resin you're using um, and how thick your resin is determines um, you know what your petals are going to look like and also the shape of your mold but um, yeah I, I personally don't think it's up to the actual brand of inks it's a bit bendy <laughs> it's a bit bendy still oh my gosh you guys I'm so excited I'm so excited wow what do you think of the middle loving those the colors like it's just blended beautifully let's go for a walk let's go for a walk we might even go outside actually because it's still early it's a nice sunny day out there today winter has gone I must say you know it's been freezing and then overnight it's just changed it's hot I've had to put the air conditioner on we'll go outside oh there's my I've been packing orders this morning look there's the Aussie ones Aussie 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 and there's the um there's all the overseas ones <laughs> look all your orders all your orders going out today guys I post Tuesdays and um, Fridays today's Friday so all right let's see if we can go outside I'll shut that again stop the flies coming in now oh, where's the Sun it's a little bit overcast a little bit overcast Sun's gone behind a cloud nice and warm though beautiful spring day here in Queensland Australia beautiful spring day 
hopefully you can see. I'll try not to drop it. <laughs> Haven't got a lot of sun, bright sun, but anyway, natural, natural daylight. Look at that, gorgeous. Look at those edges. This is my rock edge. So the sides aren't as glossy as the top you can see there because I molded this from real rock, which isn't glossy. And I like the, the two different textures there of the ultra clear shine, I should say, ultra shiny top with the slightly matte sides. So there you go. All right, I can't really see what you're seeing. My screen's pretty black <laughs> because of the, the sunlight, but hopefully, hopefully you can see something Hopefully it's looking pretty to you. All right, let's go back inside and um, we'll have another look in the sun. I put this sign on the door here. <laughs> it says open or closed so that when my husband comes in um, and I'm videoing, I, t I change it to closed so he doesn't burst in when I'm in the middle of videoing. So how cool is that? But we're open now. <laughs> okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, I think that was all I had to show you. So while I'm, while I'm here, there's all my packing stuff. There's my envelopes and my plastic bags. There's some moulds. More envelopes up there. Moulds, 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 more moulds. I've had, there's my little kitchenette. More moulds, more moulds, more moulds. Lots and lots of moulds. And more moulds, all ready, waiting to go out. Yep, inks. Dogs. <laughs> all right, uh, where are we going? We're gonna go around here. I'm going to go around here and I want to see what this looks like in my other light. Um, there's my Let's Resin curing machine. There's my food dehydrator that I no longer dehydrate food in. I just use it for drying things. There's my vacuum chamber. Um, behind there is my little Resiners, airless debubbler, and my vacuum chamber compressor. There's the hose for the pressure pot. And then down there is the um, pump for the pressure pot. Yep. <laughs> look, look at all, look at all my my Laramars and fairies and dragons and just a few of the favorites the ones that I don't like I just chuck I just chuck <laughs> yeah all right um now I just want to have a look in this light here because I like showing you in this light I wish I had a little bit more green one thing I guess quite nice about it is we've got a lot of that sort of orangish peachish tone around the edge which is really pretty so there you go can't believe I can't believe I made it <laughs> can't believe it can we see much sparkle from that alcohol ink there's a little bit there I didn't put a lot in, but yeah, you can't really see it, I don't think. All right, there it is. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I will see you all again real soon for the next video. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Take care, guys. Bye for now.